Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com. We're at my live active blog, jupiterjimsmarketingteam.com. I just want to go over two quick things before we get started. I would like to suggest that you sign up. Here's the spot, little opt-in box you get. Um, if you sign up for my blog and subscribe to it for free, you get a 49-page SEO manual, seven steps to search engine domination. You get a free 17-page dynamite blog report with some great tips for improving your blog. You get seven free SEO video tutorials. Actually, I think there's there's probably nine there right now. And of course, you get all my free blog posts in your email inbox about once or twice a week. So just put your first name there, email your best email address there, click that button, and uh, just click on the link that you receive in the email inbox. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to update your WordPress blog or website to WordPress version 3.4.1. Before we do that, I just want to recommend, uh, strongly urge you to back up your site. And there's different ways you can do that. If you go to my site, Jupiter Gyms Marketing Team, you can see I have a link right here for a backup plugin that I'll tell you a little bit more about in a minute. It's called Online Backup Plugin. Uh, if you want to pay for a plugin to back up your site, I strongly recommend Backup Buddy. And if either of those two alternatives are not satisfactory, you can go to WordPress.org and just type in Backup Plugin and see what shows up and look at the ratings and, and choose accordingly. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just go to my demonstration blog, and this is just an average, ordinary demonstration blog that serves no purpose other than being a demonstration blog so that I can show you cool things like how to update. Okay, so I'm going to click on this tab right here and that brings me to the dashboard to Jim's Max GXL marketing team. This site right here, this is the dashboard. Okay, right at the top you can see it says WordPress 3.4.1 is available. Click here to update now. We're not going to do that right away. We're going to go through a few steps first to make sure we do this properly. Okay, the first thing, like I said before, is back up your site. That is critical. That is step number one. Step number two, I would go down and go down to appearance themes and I would deactivate your current theme. So the current theme I have right now. Uh, this is just an example child theme. It's right up here, something I created. Don't worry about that. But to replace that, we want to go and just click on this right here where it says 2011 or 2010, either one. We're just going to click on that, go down here, click Activate. And that what you're doing by activating one of these default themes, you're deactivating your current theme. Very simple. Okay, I'm activating that. That's correct. Okay, the other important thing I want to share with you, before you do the WordPress upgrade process, I would strongly recommend that you write your developer and say, okay, I'm using this version of the theme, whatever that is, 6.5, and I want to know if this version of my current theme, whatever it is, whether it be a thesis or genesis or whatever, is that theme current with the latest version of WordPress, which in this case happens to be version 3.4.1. And that brings me to something else I want to mention, and that is the technique that I'm showing you here for upgrading to WordPress version 3.4.1 should work with any version of WordPress. Okay, so we have managed the themes, we've deactivated it. We can just go back here for a second, or I'm just going to right click here, and you can see that, that we have the 2011 theme. Okay, so you still have the same posts and sidebars and things like that in widgets, but we've deactivated the theme that I had originally, which is a uh, version of the thesis theme that I was using, a child theme that I created with to work with the thesis theme. In any event, okay, so we've deactivated the theme, um, and now what I would do, let's go to the plugins. That's another safe thing to do. Let's go to installed plugins and go to active. You just want to go to the active plugins. In this case, it's 14. I don't endorse any of these plugins. This is just a demonstration site. So you can see these are various plugins that need to be updated. But in any event, we're just going to go to bulk actions. We're going to deactivate the plugins so they don't interfere with the upgrade or update to version 3.4.1 in 
WordPress. Okay, we've done that. We've deactivated so you can see that there's 49 inactive and there's no active. There's a recently active. These are the 14 that we just deactivated and we'll go back to them in a minute. Okay, we're ready to update. We can click here. And it says right here, update now, or it shows the plugins. The following plugins have new versions available. Check the ones you want to update and then click update plugins. You can just click here. You can click, click them one by one, or you can just select all up here. And you can see they're all selected. And like I said, this is just for demonstration version, so I'm not endorsing any of these plugins in particular and I'm going to now update the plugins before I update the WordPress to 3.4.1 so I'm going to click update plugins okay and you can see up here it says the process may take a while on some hosts so please be patient the host I'm using is host monster which is sister company with Bluehost and I recommend them both they're they're really basically the same company and I just I'd love host monster and have had nothing but good experiences I've got a little affiliate link on my website if you want to click on it it's up to you okay now I'm just gonna scroll down real quickly and you can see all of them have been updated successfully okay so it's getting a little funky there with the uh, the display anyway so we've updated the plugins now what we can do is return to WordPress updates. Okay, so the plugins are fine. All your plugins are up to date, thank goodness. Okay, so plugins are fine. The themes, so these are the two default themes. You can upgrade them now if you want. Click update themes. If you bought a theme, it may not show up here as something that needs to be updated. It's debatable. Do you upgrade before? Do you update the theme before you update the WordPress or after the WordPress? If it's a premium theme, I think I would probably want to update the WordPress first and then update the theme if it needs updating and the only way to really know for sure like I said is write the developer or go on the help section for that theme okay so I'm gonna click update now and that's here we go okay you can see here it says you've successfully updated WordPress please lock back in to experience the awesomeness okay I'm gonna do that I've logged back in and you can see we have upgraded to WordPress 3.4.1 um, at this point what I would like to do is reactivate the theme and then reactivate the plugins so let's go under a pink well let me just scroll down for a minute you can see what's going on get a kind of an idea what it looks like anyways let's go to appearance we're gonna go to themes we're going to reactivate that thesis theme child theme that I created which is this one here I'm going to activate that. That's just something I was playing around with and testing. Okay, the theme has been reactivated, and that's where it brings you when it's reactivated. Let's go now go to plugins, installed plugins. Let's go to recently active. So these are the ones we just deactivated before we did the update or the upgrade to WordPress 3.4.1. Okay, so now these are the 14 plugins that were recently active I deactivated they are all deactivated you can see when it says click here to activate that's how you know that they're deactivated it's the exact opposite so click here select them all go to bulk bulk actions click activate click apply okay there's something in here about a 
plugin. I can check that out later. That's not really important. Selective plugins have been activated. Okay, and that's basically all there is to it. So let's go here, right click. Okay, and this is the site. It looks exactly like the site that we started with. It's not a big deal. And so, the, so those are the steps. I'm going to write those steps down and put them in this video and those steps into a blog post at Jupiter Gyms Marketing Team. So visit there. Leave your comments. Thanks so much. Please share with friends, family, and loved ones on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Take care and have a great day.